Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to configure a domain controller as Global Catalog Server in Active Directory domain. Global Catalog Servers keep a set of information for all objects located in its local domain as well as summary information for objects in other domains of its forest. The importance of the Global Catalog varies depending on the size of your network and its site configuration. For example, if your network consists of a single domain with domain controllers all located at the same site and well connected, the Global Catalog serves little purpose other than universal group searches. You can make all your domain controllers Global Catalog servers if you want. The searches will be load balanced and the application traffic likely will not flood it the network. However, if your network consists of multiple domains with domain controllers located at multiple sites connected by WAN links, the Global Catalog configuration is critical. If at all possible, you do not want users performing ADDS searches that must reach across slow and expensive WAN links to contact domain controllers at other sites. Placing a Global Catalog server at each site is recommended in this case. The initial replication might generate a lot of traffic, but the savings in the long run should be significant. You can configure a domain controller as a Global Catalog server during deployment of the domain controller. You select the Global Catalog checkbox on the Domain Controller Options page when you run the Active Directory Domain Services configuration wizard. If you decline to do so, however, you can make any domain controller a Global Catalog server using the Active Directory Sites and Services tool. Log into the Domain Controller server running Windows Server 2022 using an account with administrative privilege. From the Server Manager's tool menu, select Active Directory Sites and Services. Expand the Sites node, expand the relevant site, expand the server folder and then expand the node for the domain controller that you want to modify. Right click the NDDS Settings node and select Properties. On the General tab, select the Global Catalog checkbox and then click on Apply and OK. The selected domain controller has been successfully configured as a Global Catalog server. Click on Servers and click on Refresh. Now under DC type, we can see GC for our both domain controllers WS2022-DC01 and WS2022-DC02. Both domain controllers are configured as a Global Catalog server for our Active Directory domain msftwebcast.com. Remember, we have single domain Active Directory Forest and our both domain controllers are located in the same Active Directory site. You can also use Windows PowerShell to make a domain controller a Global Catalog Server. That's all for this video on how to configure domain controller as Global Catalog Server in Windows Server 2022. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.